my favorite comebacks. Come on, loser. Come on, Kyle. Keep up. This is gym class, not nap time. You know what, Chad? Screw you, man. Excuse me? Yeah, screw you, man. You're mean for no reason. <laughs> Shut up. It's because you're a loser, you're ugly, you're slow, and you're lazy. No one here likes you, bro. <laughs> Nobody. If you keep bullying, man, you're going to regret it, I promise you. Oh, really? Yeah, what are you going to do? You're going to punch me? No, I'm going to slap you. Oh, you're going to slap me? Oh my god, I'm so scared. He's going to slap me, guys. <laughs> but my slap is different. Oh yeah, how? Because I'm going to slap you so hard that my hand will be recognized at graduation. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Stacy Curtin. <laughs> Kyle Johnson. <laughs> Kyle Johnson's hand. Slap Chad. The people have spoken. <laughs> Chad, get up here. No. Oh. Now. <laughs> Crazy things people did as kids. When this kid was 10 years old, he was riding his bike around his neighborhood. <laughs> when he accidentally ran into a fence, flying off his bike, slamming face first into the ground. <laughs> his nose was cracked and it was bleeding everywhere. <laughs> He walked his bike back to his house. When he walked inside, his dad saw his terribly messed up nose and said, Oh my God, son, who did that to you? And instead of him saying he crashed his bike, he said this, It was Greg. Now, it obviously wasn't Greg. Greg was the biggest bully at the school. Get in the car now. And they drove to Greg's house. Ah, how can I help you? Yeah, is your son Greg home? There you are, come here. If you ever mess with my son again, you are going to wish you've never been born. You like mayonnaise, kid? I said you like mayonnaise? I hate mayonnaise. Well then watch your back, buddy. Cause I got jars of it in my pantry. What did I do? Here's what happens when you bully the wrong kid. I'm so angry today, I wanna bully somebody so bad. Oh, <laughs> there's Kyle, my first victim of the day. <laughs> hey Kyle. You're such a loser. I'm First off, brush your teeth. What? You dirty mouth, buck tooth idiot. Hey, no, your mom's so dumb she washes paper plates. And you're more useless than the water in a ketchup bottle. Caterpillar eyebrows, picture frame, hugging creep. Hey, don't talk to him like that. Shut up, Stacy. You're like the end piece of a loaf of bread. Everyone touches you, but nobody wants you. If your parents got divorced, would they go back to being brother and sister? I hope everything you've ever loved dies slowly in your arms. This school had the dumbest rule ever. This one high school had a rule where students were not allowed to have facial hair at all. Not even stubble. It got to the point where every day, a teacher would walk around the lunchroom with a shaving cream bottle and a razor, doing stubble checks. And if he saw any student with facial hair at all, he would shave it right then and there. You. What? That mustache has gotta go, my friend. But sir, you have a mustache too. Well, I'm a teacher, so it doesn't matter. And you know the rules. Now pucker up, buttercup, that caterpillar's gotta go. Goodbye, old friend. This went on for years. Well, one day, this teacher accidentally cut someone's lip really bad. And this rule had to change. Hey Kyle, I saw you school supply shopping with your mom last week. <laughs> that's so lame. At least my mom is still in my life. Where's your mom? Oh, that's right. She left you guys and started a family with the mailman. I swear to God, I don't blame her. Look at you. If your life was a video game, you would be an NPC, bro. Shut up. You know what, dude? You know what? You're the reason aliens won't talk to us. That is not true. No, watch. I bet you money. The day you die, they're gonna be like, oh, nice, dude. He's gone. We can finally go down there. That guy sucked. <laughs> hey, boss. Yes. Uh, the human they called Chad, uh, he, he died today. He has a tiger attack. All right, finally. Right? <laughs> that guy sucked. All right, bring this ship down to Earth. Let's go say hi. 
Craziest things people did in school. When this kid was in sixth grade during PE, he always brought himself a large bottle of water. Well, because of this, kids were always asking him for sips and he was getting very, very annoyed. So he had an idea. He brought himself a second water bottle, but this time he would dissolve clear, tasteless, but very strong laxatives into the water. So whenever kids asked, yo, can I have a sip of that? He would give him the water with the laxatives in it. Yeah, man, no problem. Here. The laxatives would always kick in after PE during the next class. Oh, oh God. And it even got to the point where there was lines for the bathroom because so many kids had to poop. Weird fast food experiences. This guy used to work at Taco Bell. One day an old man pulled into the drive-thru, but he went right past the place where you order and straight to the second window. Sir, you were supposed to place your order back there. Yeah, I'll take a venti caramel ice latte. Um, and then, no, this isn't Starbucks. But exactly a week after this incident, it happened again. Sir, you're supposed to order you. Yeah, I'll take a venti caramel ice. Is, is this is this Starbucks? No, this is Taco Bell, man. Oh, okay. And again, a week after that. Order! Coffee! What? Starbucks. Taco Bell! Oh. This happened for three months, until one day it mysteriously just stopped. Who knows what was going through that guy's head? Who do you think's the biggest loser at our school? Definitely Kyle. Hey bro, I heard that. Good. You're a loser. You think I'm a loser? <laughs> yeah, man, you literally have zero riz. First of all, that's completely wrong. Hey, Stacy. Hey, what's up, Kyle? I just wanted to say that yesterday, your presentation in history class was amazing. Like, I was mind blown, and um, your hair looks awesome today. Oh my gosh, thank you, Kyle. Um, text me? Yeah, for sure. That doesn't mean anything. Watch, I can do it too. Hey, Carla. Shut up, Chad. What the heck? I'm the coolest kid in school. That is so false. A literal house plant is cooler than you. Oh, funny joke, dude. What plan is that? Carlos. Hey, what up, Carlos? What's up, bro? I've been chilling. You be easy now. <laughs> this story's hilarious. When this girl was little, for some reason, she thought sneezing was hilarious. The scene in Beauty and the Beast where Belle's dad sneezes in his workshop and dust flies everywhere, she loved it. She would rewind it and watch it over and over again. <laughs> Well, one day when she was in kindergarten, she somehow found out that a student who was in first grade was very allergic to pollen. So she had an idea. Every day at recess, she would go outside, pick a handful of dandelions and chase her around the playground. Come here, come here. <laughs> and when she would get close enough, she would shove the dandelions in this girl's face. <laughs> Well, it got to a point where one day at recess, she was chasing her around with dandelions as usual. But this time, the reaction was more than a sneeze. She was sent to the hospital. And from that day on, whenever she wanted to watch someone sneeze, she would just go on YouTube. Here's how to know if somebody's watching you. Have you ever been sitting in class and just felt like somebody behind you was staring at you? Well, this is what you do. You yawn. Yawning is contagious. So if you yawn while someone's looking at you, they will yawn as well. So what you do is you yawn and then you quickly look around and whoever is yawning, that's the person who was looking at you. This is how it would go down. <sighs> Chad, Stacy, I see yourself. 